Pluto, a past planet that was scaled back to a peewee planet, remains a subject of interest and fixation in the enormous neighborhood shown by later figures, such as leading experts. Pluto's orbit is perilously close to Neptune's. Astrophysicists Neil deGrasse Tyson and Michio Kaku are both raising the alarm about a potentially risky effect between these two planets, which could pose an essential threat to Earth. Yet, how is such an event even possible? Pluto's journey around the Sun isn't like any other planet in our planetary system. It requires a staggering 248 years to complete a single orbit, truly meaning that since its discovery in 1930, it hasn't even finished one full revolution. Yet, the interest doesn't stop there. Pluto's orbit is distinct due to its astoundingly twisted shape, wandering out and away from the nearly circular orbits of the major planets. What makes Pluto's orbit even more fascinating is its inclination, set at 17 degrees to the ecliptic plane. The way Pluto follows its orbit is much more erratic compared to other planets. This inclination and eccentricity add layers of complexity to its orbital arrangement. One of the most interesting aspects of Pluto's orbit is its intersection with Neptune's orbit. For about 20 years in each orbit, Pluto actually moves closer to the Sun than Neptune, which is opposite to what we might expect based on their positions in the nearby planetary system. This prompts the natural question, why hasn't Pluto collided with Neptune? The answer lies in the gravitational effects of other planets. The study of Pluto's orbit began soon after its discovery. Initially, astronomers tried to figure out its strange path, not unlike other planets whose orbits lie mostly near the ecliptic plane. Pluto's orbit stretches with its high inclination and unusual length and shape. The mystery deepened with the confirmation that Pluto's orbit indeed crosses Neptune's. The stability of Pluto's orbit amid these complexities is evidence of the unpredictable mechanics of space. The three-body problem in space involves figuring out how three objects, like Pluto, Neptune, and the Sun, move and interact with each other due to their gravity. It's like trying to predict where they will go based on where they started and how they pull on one another. This works for Pluto's situation, showing how its orbit, Neptune's orbit, and the Sun's gravity all interact in a complex way. The terms alpha libration and resonance libration, along with the VZK influence, are key to solving this puzzle. According to astrophysicists, what keeps all planets in their orbits is a phenomenon called alpha libration. In the case of Pluto and Neptune, this term suggests that whenever Pluto crosses Neptune's orbit, it is no less than 90 degrees away from Neptune. This spatial separation is crucial in preventing their orbits from crossing. Resonance libration, on the other hand, refers to the upward movement of a body in its orbit. For Pluto, this means that when it comes closest to Neptune or any other giant planet, it is positioned well above their orbital plane, offering an additional layer of protection from potential collisions. Another important factor is the VZK influence, named after three researchers, Bon, Zippel, Leo, and Kai, who studied how objects move in space. It's about how three space objects, like Pluto, Neptune, and the Sun, pull on each other with their gravity. This gravitational force impacts how they move. For Pluto's case, the VZK effect helps explain why its orbit around the Sun is so bizarre despite its seemingly erratic path. This influence helps keep Pluto moving smoothly for billions of years. The VZK fluctuation shows that, despite how things in space may seem chaotic and unpredictable, some models and forces keep everything in balance. These factors help maintain Pluto's orbit, ensuring that it doesn't collide with Neptune or get lost. This three-body problem is essential for understanding how orbits change due to the gravitational interactions between space objects. Studying this helps us dive deeper into Pluto, our nearby planetary system, and distant stars and planets. Mathematical simulations in the late 1980s revealed that, despite these balancing forces, Pluto's orbit is actually unstable, with slight deviations in initial conditions leading to vast changes over the long term. However, these abnormal properties of Pluto's orbit have been found to maintain stability over incredibly long timescales, keeping the chaos under tight control. Recent computer models have helped us understand how giant planets like Neptune, Jupiter, and Saturn influence Pluto's path around the Sun. Neptune has a unique relationship with Pluto, where for every two orbits Pluto completes around the Sun, Neptune completes three. This resonance stabilizes Pluto's orbit. 
But Neptune isn't the only player. Jupiter's gravity also plays a significant role in protecting Pluto's orbit, and Saturn contributes as well. These studies show that Jupiter's gravity alone is strong enough to ensure that Pluto stays on a steady path for a long time, perhaps even billions of years. So, it's as if Neptune, Jupiter, and Saturn are working together to make sure Pluto moves safely in space without causing any problems. These attributes are vital in the broader context of the universe, keeping everything together and maintaining stability in the movement of celestial bodies. Without these forces, the nearby planetary system, as we know it, would be a much more turbulent place, with bodies like Pluto potentially colliding with others or being flung out of their stable orbits, causing a ripple effect on other celestial objects. For Pluto, especially in discussions about its potential contact with Neptune in the future, understanding its orbit is crucial. This gives us a clearer picture of the dynamic nature of the nearby planetary system. The case of Pluto shows how even the most seemingly unstable orbits can reach a state of balance through the multilayered exchange of gravitational forces and orbital mechanics. It also highlights the importance of continued observation and analysis of these dynamics to better understand our position in the universe. Exploring the depths of space continually leads us to confront the peculiar nature of celestial bodies, and Pluto's orbit is an ideal example of this eccentricity. The potential for orbital chaos, which implies the sensitive dependence of a body's path on its initial conditions, is clearly demonstrated. For Pluto's case, this means that, indeed, even slight changes in Pluto's situation, or on the other hand, speed can definitively change its long-haul course inside the huge region of our nearby planet group. Pluto involves an exceptional spot that challenges how we could decipher planetary arrangement and components. Since its discovery in 1930, Pluto has gone through broad survey, prompting critical revelations about its creation and direct. Conceivably, one of the most beguiling pieces of Pluto is its surface, which is a convoluted weaving of ice, rock, and different blends. The New Horizons mission, which flew by Pluto in July 2015, gave astounding data about this distant world. Pluto's surface is depicted by monstrous fields, rising above mountains and profound valleys. One of the most striking highlights is Sputnik Planitia, an immense heart-shaped plain, basically made of nitrogen ice. This region shows a diverse cluster of geographical highlights, including gigantic ice blocks and what seem to be flowing ice sheets. The presence of these elements suggests that Pluto could still be geologically active, notwithstanding its huge distance from the sun and low temperatures. Another interesting piece of Pluto is its environment, which is essentially made of nitrogen, with traces of methane and carbon monoxide. Pluto's atmosphere is flimsy, but shows enchanting occasional varieties. As Pluto draws nearer to the Sun in its lengthy orbit, its atmosphere can grow and turn out to be more solid. This conduct reflects the multifaceted connection between Pluto and its air. During Pluto's nearest approach to the Sun, a portion of the environmental gases could freeze out onto the surface, while as it moves farther away, these gases can sublimate once again into the air. The connection between Pluto and its largest moon, Charon, additionally adds multifaceted design to the system. Charon is fairly huge compared to Pluto, with a diameter about a portion of that of Pluto itself. This size proportion means that the two bodies circle a point in space that lies between them, rather than Pluto just circling Charon. This remarkable relationship adds to the gravitational dynamics of the region, affecting the orbits of different items in the Kuiper Belt. The Kuiper Belt, a region beyond Neptune populated by small frigid bodies, is home to numerous other dwarf planets and potential impactors. This belt is a storehouse of ancient material from the early planetary system, offering scientists a short investigate its development. Pluto's orbital properties could give bits of insight into the advancement patterns of these faraway objects, suggesting that coordinated efforts with larger planets may have had a basic impact in shaping their ongoing orbits. One of the key implications of figuring out Pluto's orbital parts is its true potential influence on how we could decipher the nearby planet group's development. Gravitational impacts from adjoining giant planets like Jupiter and Neptune can adjust the orbits of smaller bodies, including those in the Kuiper Belt. Such interactions can lead to changes in orbits, perhaps causing accidents or launches from the nearby planet group. 
As specialists continue to consider these interactions, they may uncover broader patterns that govern the behavior of celestial bodies across the universe. The examination of Pluto, moreover, raises philosophical questions about order in cosmology. The decision to rename Pluto as a dwarf planet in 2006 started debates about what characterizes a planet. The International Astronomical Union's definition focused on models like orbital predominance and size, leaving many to consider the implications of such classifications. This ongoing discussion reflects our growing understanding of the universe and highlights the need for an adaptable approach to defining celestial bodies. Moreover, the potential for future exploration of Pluto in the Kuiper Belt remains an exciting frontier. With advances in technology and mission planning, scientists are considering sending additional spacecraft to study Pluto, as well as other objects with similar orbital characteristics. Such missions could provide important data about the primordial materials that formed our solar system, potentially revealing insights into the origins of life on Earth. The role of exoplanets, planets beyond our solar system, is another exciting area of study that intersects with our understanding of Pluto. As space experts find an increasing number of exoplanets, particularly those in the habitable zones of their stars, the lessons learned from studying our own solar system could help develop theories about planetary formation and habitability. Ultimately, public interest in Pluto has remained strong because of its peculiar status and the stunning pictures returned by the New Horizons mission. The dwarf planet has captured the imagination of people worldwide, inspiring a renewed appreciation for the immensity of space and our place within it. As we continue to unravel the mysteries of Pluto and the celestial bodies at the edge of the universe, we are reminded of the marvels and wonders the universe has to offer. Does Pluto's astounding nature extend beyond its physical properties and orbit? It also serves as a fundamental case study for understanding planetary development and the dynamics of celestial bodies. Pluto's formation is believed to have occurred in the early solar system, alongside other Kuiper Belt objects. Studying its composition can offer insights into the conditions that prevailed during the developmental phases of the solar system, potentially uncovering clues about the formation of Earth-like planets. Later investigations suggest that Pluto could have a subsurface sea, a discovery that could alter how we understand its topography and possibly support life. New Horizons data revealed that some regions of Pluto's surface, such as the Frosty Mountains, might be made of water ice which behaves differently from ordinary rock at low temperatures. This revelation invites further investigation into the possibility of liquid water existing beneath its frozen exterior, raising intriguing questions about the potential for life. Indeed, even in such extreme circumstances, Pluto's relationship with its atmosphere can offer insights into atmospheric science. The periodic changes in its thin atmosphere provide a natural laboratory for studying climatic cycles on a planetary scale. Scientists are particularly intrigued by how the interaction between solar radiation and the surface can lead to complex weather patterns, like those seen on larger planets.